<laughs> you ready? Comment, subscribe. <laughs> I f that up all the time. You know I do. Welcome to the school of Neil and Andy. He uses the word stiff. Normally I'm a betting man, but not with my nipples. Andy, you make me feel like a fool, but I love you. Here we go. Shop life starts now. Welcome back everybody. Guess what? I got Shop Life for you. I got a brand new episode of Shop Life. I'm super excited. I'm not just talking about this, talking about that. Yeah, that's right. We got a Shop Life video done. Uh, we got myself working on some trolling motors with some other things. We got Neil doing his thing, Jason kind of doing his thing, and Sam, I don't know. He's just being Sam, doing Sam things. You know what I mean? Sipping, puffing, doing what he does. I mean, that's what happens. So here we go. Shop Life starts now. What are you working on? I'm working on an Altera right now, an 80 pound thrust Altera that doesn't go doesn't go up down. We've done a reset on it, doesn't work. We're gonna put a control board in it, and make it go up again, hopefully. Cross the fingers. Hello, new control board. What's your thought on this? On this? Yeah, being in the control service center. I like it. Um, it's a good change for me. I actually like doing it. Like it's kind of different, you know, after you've done all that stuff for so many years, it's like, hmm, it's a good little change of pace. It's something I enjoy, I guess. New challenge. I don't mind them. They're actually not, they're, they're put together as good as I think I, you could. And I don't know, I went to school. It was cool. I had a good time. How's it going? Great. What are, we, what are we talking about? Uh, water. What's water and uh, what boat's next to bring in? Yeah, so I end up going to Jason's Bay and there's this little bug that's walking across my actually pretty big bug. Your nipple, Sam. Nope. Your nipple. Nope. Five bucks. Nope. Ten? Nope. Twenty? Nope. And uh, he's got pinchers on the end of him. I mean, like, real good pinchers. And I went to Neil right away, offering him, I think, 40 bucks. 40 bucks to have it latch onto his nipple and he wouldn't go for it. Neil's nipple. Neil won't even let you get that close to him with it. He keeps falling. I got it for us all. 40 bucks for us to put that on Neil's nipple. We'll ask him here in a minute. Here, he's going back. He's getting back on. Neil! One second! Ooh. You mad though? Yeah, he's opening back up. Uh, you don't know Neil, he's got sensitive nipples. There's a long story behind it, I'm not gonna get into it, but he's definitely got sensitive nipples. Um, 40 bucks. Nope. Nope. 40 bucks. I'm not putting anything on my nipples. Why not? They're sensitive. Well, look at this guy, though. This can't hurt that bad. Watch. You ready? Definitely not a chance. No, he's, 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 he's dead. No, he's not dead. Watch. He's playing possum. He's playing possum. Oh, there he is. He's mad. 40 bucks. Nope. Normally I'm a betting man, but not with my nipples. You wouldn't do that? Hell no. That hurt. I think I offered Sam five bucks maybe, because that's like what Sam's worth, about five bucks when it comes to pinching nipples. Um, and he wouldn't even do it. So I think he went up, I think he questioned a hundred bucks. He may have been okay with a hundred bucks, but yeah, no one went for it. Uh, we did, I think, let the bug go and everything was good. Jason, it's season two. You're back. Hi. Are we doing it all over again? Doing it all over again. Sweet. That'll be fun. What are you working on? Working on a Baja. Putting a motor in a Baja. I need to transom work. 
and motor mount work. The engine was falling through the bottom of the boat. And you're loving life. I'm loving every bit of it. <laughs> Jason, tell me what you did today. Jason's not here today. Jason, what did you do today? Well, um, I, I uh, had to do a couple repairs on a uh, Baja and get it fired up and ready to rock and roll. Um, it all went really well. What are you doing? Sam, give me some life advice. Don't riot. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. What are you working on? Cobra. Cobra. Cobra cut! What are you doing oh. to it? So it stays in forward when he goes to neutral. What's the issue? I don't know. I have to go to the river. Step getting the neutral. He uses the word step. Welcome everyone back to season two. Welcome everybody back to seasons two. Season seasons. two. Seasons. Season two. Seasons. Lots of seasons. Spring, summer, fall. Welcome back everybody. Season. Season number two. Garbage. Sam, give me some life advice that doesn't involve <laughs> what you said before. What's wrong with what I said before? Nope, not gonna make the episode. Wear a condom. <laughs> what are you working on, Neil? Uh, working on a 40 Merc four stroke. It says it starts and dies. Says it also has had a new PSI pump and filters installed. Middle to top. So we'll just start from the beginning. Having fun? Kind of. I'm gonna try to hook this up. Try to keep that away from there. That'd be important. So now I gotta raise this thing up. It's not gonna be fun because my stand isn't big enough. Safety's important. Oh, wait, I need a bigger block. I need a bigger block to get what I need. Maybe we could. Maybe this one. I don't think this is doing what you said it is. I got another block. I'm up to you get block? No, I'm up to a world record four block here. What can I say? I need a new bench. Stacking cinder blocks and freaking pieces of wood to try to make a 60 inch work. Uh, and the only reason I had to do was all We had to stow, deploy, make sure everything worked. Uh, yeah, it was a, it was a show. Not happy. First jump. I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's making us money, so just shut up. Check mark. Loading. What are you doing right now? I'm looking at the world of life. Program reset, possibly going to be needed. I'm just going to turn this off. Motor not falling, so that's good. Shutting down. Ready? Bingo. Motor paused. What are you doing? I'm just gonna call them in code real quick. Yeah, so I call tech support. You don't even call tech support when things get going and you get to the point of where I fixed it. I know this was the problem. Uh, we get the new board put in. I knew it was the board. I put the new board in. I uh, got everything tightened up. Everything uh, went through. Went through the steps with tech support, step by step by step by step. They do a great job over at Minkota helping us out when things get a little complicated. Um, ended up the new board I just put in. <laughs> junk. And if I go if I go front and back, I got nothing. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Bye. Well, the new board we put in, it's bad. They're gonna send me another new one. Um, so 
They ask for it back right away. Got to send it back to them. They go into research, figure out what went wrong. Uh, like I said, tech support's always great over in Minn Kota and all my hard work. <whistles> right down the drain. Spark. Yeah. You got spark on five. This one right here is working. This one right here is not working. How am I, how am I doing? Good. Messing with you a little bit? This one's kind of sign of working. I thought you were going to kick me in the head there for a minute. Hmm. Yeah, so Neil's on this one. What's our complaint, Neil? Uh, starts and dies. Come on. Starts and dies. Starts and dies. How's this going? Pretty normal. Spark and compression tests are all good. Test the fuel and check a couple other things. And then we'll see what it's like. It does when it starts. What's going on over here? Pressure testing the lower unit. See if we get any leaks. So far, no leaks. What is he running? Uh, he does. That's junk. That's something done. Yeah, here you go. That's junk. What is that? Thermostat. Should not be stuck open like that. There's a bunch of rocks and stuff jammed in there. Tell me about this, it had a leak and stuff. The O-ring on the bearing carrier was leaking, so I got to pull the bearing carrier out, put a new O-ring in, put it back together. What caused this issue? Just age. I'm sure it's, the O-ring's probably dry rotted some or has flattened out too much from probably being in there for its whole life. Either that or you grab the spider leg one. Like spider leg. Yeah. Yep. It's going to be a red flashing. That's what it flashes red. What you got there? A bearing carrier. Flattened out o ring. What are you doing, Jason? Seeing if we have power at the fuel pump. No fuel pressure. No fuel pressure. Yeah. Yeah, it's on. Okay. You got it. Yeah, we're sending power to the pump. What's your theory, Neil? I think something's either the high pressure pump and the VST is locked up because when I did a fuel sample, there were fuel liner particles in the fuel test, and this had. Already had new filters, pumps, and stuff put on it, new lines, so, but I don't think anybody's been in there yet. I don't think this has ground. Uh, the VST, the fuel, fuel area, pump in here, I think might be junk. I got no pressure, no fuel pressure, no nothing. So we're going to open it up and see if there's any shit in there. I'm pretty sure this fuel pump is junk. It don't move. It should move. You should be able to move this. It don't do anything. Found out that the motor was locked up. There wasn't any shit in there like I thought there was, uh, but the slip did say the motor had sat for a few years, so there you go. Okay, yeah, because I stuck a pick in there. I can't move that at all. It's locked up. Okay. Smells fresh too. Okay. Let's jump. A lot of jumps going on today. What are you doing? Um, looking for a serial number. Um, so I can send the warranty in. Um, but you know, I love you, Minkota, but you really don't make it easy for service centers to find the serial number if they're on the bottom of the foot pedal and it is screwed down. This boat's hot, like the sun, not the, I mean, it's a nice boat. Got it. I'm gonna go back into my sweltering office. Where are you off to? I'm going to get my hair cut, finally. You don't really need haircuts when your hair doesn't grow on top, but it grows on the sides. That's the only reason I'm going there. So, yeah, let's roll the windows up. Jordan doesn't like that, that sound in the background. Yep. It's sound in the background. Turn the air on medium, is that good? Sure. Cool. 
Yeah, we're going to a local barbershop, same guy I always use. I, I, I always went to Ken's barbershop for years, and then Kenny Garvis passed away. And then Jamie took over, and he's cool as I love him. He's a good guy. Uh, he tells me I gotta wear a mask, I guess. I don't know. When I started coming here, it looked like that. Yeah. No, it looks like that. Yeah. yeah, thanks for your patience. I got a long line. Is that short enough? You did good. A beautiful thing. That was that. Look at this. I'm brand new. Ready to rock. All right, yeah, the haircut thing, I go to Ken's Barbershop. I used to go to Ken Garvis, uh, he passed away. Jamie took over. Um, I've gone there for a long time. I actually don't, I only have one other person besides my mother that ever cut my hair besides Ken's Barbershop. Actual barbershop in town here. Jamie's awesome, he's he's easy to talk to, easy going guy, get your hair cut, get you in and out. Uh, it, it's just something you gotta do, you know, you get rid of the mop and you make yourself look a little bit more presentable. And it's cool to have a barber and not somebody that's just there for the extra money and putting wax and your hair and making it all slick back, maybe tilted to the side. Obviously, you can see I don't get a discount for losing hair. Um, it's still the same price, uh, maybe gone up because he's probably got to work harder to make me look better. But hey, he does a great job. Thanks, Jamie. Awesome. Um, he's got his boat and said his trolling motor is not working. Yeah. Um, so he's got he wants to know why it's not working? That or like, Oh, well you could make it, he could make it on TV today. Oh, oh come on! Hi. Well, trust me, I've done that. What are we on, camera here? You are a goddamn celebrity around this place. <laughs> yes. Jesus, kind of picture. Hey, 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 hey. There you go. <laughs> you're, dealing with, you're dealing with a celebrity now. <laughs> Can't see my meter, but that's all right. Whatever. Between like the customer and myself, uh, just a group of loyal customers that come here all the time, it's so awesome to have that. Uh, you don't have to talk on the high professional, hello type crap. Um, we can, I can be myself and just speak my mind to these customers because they know it's no bullshit. It's straight up, this is what's wrong, here we go, let's fix it. But it's great to have, be able to have the camaraderie with, with customers that have been long term with the company since I've owned. Did you hook all this yourself? Well, you probably did it initially. Long time ago. Yep. And then you didn't do anything with it during the winter time. Just oh, figured, just figured, oh, it'll be all right. It'll be fine. Yeah. You know all that. Yeah. Let me move this. You do whatever the hell you want. Okay. Okay, it just quit. Yep. That's what you're telling me. It stopped. It was working. It was working. Ready? One, two, three. It's gonna work now. Three. I hope that's as easy as it is. Um, check the voltage up front, no voltage, walk back, <laughs> flip the breaker. Uh, I should have bet him 100 bucks maybe to say it's fixed and because he was all excited. Walked up there, simple, clip, fix, woo, happy guy. Oh, that's gonna work now. Sure. I ain't gonna f with it. I'm not f with it. Told you. Get your hand out of there. Thanks, buddy. I'm <laughs> gonna go for lunch, I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> I don't drink, I've stayed sober this whole time. Hey, all right. I am going to retire from this business sober. The only person ever to do it. That's why we're filming this. All right. You're good to go, buddy. Well, Andy, you make me feel like a fool, but I love you. Have a good day. Thank you. Drive careful. 
Remember to make me famous when your movie comes out. Well, it's not a movie, it's YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. All you gotta do is go subscribe. You'll be able to see yourself. All right. Check it out. Thank you. You bet. Welcome to the school of Neil and Andy. Yeah. Brought to you today by Evan Root, who's no longer in business, and a pontoon. <laughs> Classes in session. You never go to the service shop and start with, hey, replace my tires on my trailer. Why is that? Well, it's so it rolls down the road. No. Stern light doesn't work. Okay, we'll fix that. We don't start with that either, though. Okay, install depth finder at the council. Get that done, too. And then when it's all over with, um, turns over but does not start. That should be number one. We'll put this one up here because when that is very expensive, then this is all bad. Okay, so lesson learned. We put that up here when you're in, when you're talking to the person up front. Say, well, the motor cranks over but doesn't start. So here's a big thing: when you bring your boat into a shop and your motor isn't running correctly. That should be number uno, one. Hi, my motor doesn't run good. Not, yeah, I was wondering if um, you could check my tires. I got one bad tire. Maybe check, uh, maybe check the running lights. My bilge pump doesn't work. And then uh, when you're all done fixing all that, take a look at the motor. Um, hi, the most important part of that machine is the mill, the running portion, vroom. So he's worried more about the tires. And he's worried about his stern light not working and getting his depth finder in. I'll just float it. Don't worry about the engine not running. Okay, that's good. Make sure it's running good. Tip top, can I get an estimate on that? And then we can address the tires. Then we can address the other stuff. But if the motor is three, four thousand dollars in damage, uh, do you really want to put new tires on a boat that the motor's junk? So just make sure you're addressing it correctly. That's where we were going with that. Make sure you're coming in because some techs will just grab it and go like, all right, let's get the tires on. Da, da, da. Luckily, I think Neil obviously would have probably gone down to the bottom and said, hey, we got motor issues. So good thing that we're there. Just a little classes in the session thing for everybody. It's hot right now. You know, you know, What's the deal, Neil? Uh, I, he's got a whole issue with control box, harness. It's all cobble job. So I just hooked up our little key switch just to make sure I'm eliminating the front of the boat. And as soon as I turn the key switch on, I got an alarm. You got your kill back up though? Yeah, they're both it in. Huh? It works now? Yeah, I put them back in, I still got spark. With our key switch on? Yeah, with our key switch on. Right, and both the head temps that tell this engine that it's getting hot are both cut. Smart. Yeah, so. Now why did he do that? I, I, I don't know. That motor was completely cobbled. I mean, there was extra wires, taped, electrical tape. You don't know where it came from. To find both your head temps cut is not a good thing because if you got an alarm going off, you just don't cut the wires and continue on. Their alarm's going off for a reason. And it happens, that motor was blown up. Could have been due to getting hot and they just said the hell with it, cut the wires and kept going. I don't know, but it was a cluster of a mess. All right, the deal is here is it came here because the engine would crank but wouldn't start. So I have no spark. So I eliminated both the kills to the packs and then I got spark. So I went and grabbed our remote and hook and just unplugged the main one that goes up to the control box and plugged it in, put everything back together. I got spark. So the main problem is probably this harness control box. I mean, it is uh, electrical tape from here to the morrow. So somewhere is something's touching, something's melted. I mean, you can see a little burn mark in there. So something started on fire at one time. But then, as you saw before, I got basically all my head temps are cut. So it's alarming right now. Basically, you start over. Just start over. Just unbolt, 
blue bin out back, put a brand new engine on it because this is going to get expensive to fix whatever the problem is. What are you working on here? Um, doing a Pro XF. Well, East Coast girls are hip. I really dig those styles they wear. Yes. With the way they. <laughs> well, I could be that. <laughs> did you put that logo on there for him? Yes, I did. Got a ton of hours on it. It does? Yeah, he uses it all the time. And of course, when he needs it the most, it's broken. It lays down on him. Where we're at? We're taking out spark plugs, and we are at Team Marine. That one is not in good shape either. That one's got a lot of time on it. Are the other ones bad? Yeah, I got one. I got one good one right now. One runner. How much for the runner? You only need one. You only need one to run. Just gotta fire one cylinder. Well. I thought the other five were for backups. The other five are just there because that one's that one's working part time. Look at the rust on the end of that. That boot was just, I mean, it's just hanging on for dear life. It's got no reason in life. It's like right here. It's like slapping Medusa in the face. Yeah. Oh, you like that? Oh, what? Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Little snakes off of her head. And again. That's what you like, right? See that? Oh, whack, whack. Oh, now we got them all going. Good stuff. <laughs> we will move on to our next episode. Thoughts? Thoughts right now? Yeah. Broke. Broke. What? I don't know yet. Something. Huh? Something. Something's not talking to A and B. I'm, I'm not into the computer stages yet. I'm just doing the um, outlooking stuff. See what. On the seems next. a little groggy. It seems like it's got a headache. Like it might need some Excedrin. Yeah, so 200 Opti, we get, we always got to stay in the circle. We call it the circle of life when it comes to an outboard. You got to make sure you check compression, spark, uh, leak down if you feel the need. Uh, make sure fuel volume is there. Make sure it's receiving input from the boat. So you go through those steps and then we come to find out that Dave's isn't running good um, at idle. So you, you get. You get looking and through the Opti world that I was involved in, I knew it was reeds right away. I went to the reeds, shined a light down there with the old <whistles> inspector gadget, high dollar mirror and uh, declared breakage of reeds. Not one, two, I think three, three paddle sets were busted. It was a mess, but put the new reeds in. It's been gone ever since and running like it should. Here. Reeds. We're gonna go after some reeds here, okay? Gonna go like this and go, hello. Luke. Give me a little update on what you're looking at now. I'm looking at the reeds right now on this fine machine and I've already discovered one portion of these reeds that uh, is no longer with us. It has left and ventured onto a new life. That's all I really need to see. Oh, there's two. This update is brought to you by Pepsi Cola. And strawberry pie. And my mom's strawberry pie. Pretty delicious. Plenum's coming off now. I'm gonna look at, I already did look at the reeds. We do have two reeds that went <laughs> So I'm gonna look at that and see how bad that is. Compression tested? We did do a compression test, it's good. After further investigations, we have uh, two paddles that are broke on the reeds per, per my inspections. And that's kind of what I thought. So I gotta take this intake out so we can get to seeing them even closer. So we can replace what we need to replace. I hope everybody loved the shop life uh, episode. It was awesome to do. Uh, glad to be behind the camera again. Glad to be doing what we were, we love to do. We love to show what we do on a daily basis. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're gonna get back to more team talks. I know guys really seem to be loving the team talks. The uh, everything else that we're doing, it seems to be doing really good. I can't thank you guys enough for the support. Uh, what you're doing, the subscribing, the sharing all that stuff like i said i just want to be blatant honest with uh, you guys the people that subscribe the world i want you guys to know what's going on and how we see it so um yeah we got some big big news coming that's all i can say we hope to finish some deals here soon and uh get some really cool stuff coming down the pipe for you guys 
it, it's going the direction we wanted, the hard work, the efforts we put into it has definitely uh, been the right, right thing. So um, I'm excited. I can't tell you anything more, uh, but it's all because you guys, you guys continue to subscribe and comment and help me push this thing to the next level. And as we grow, we're gonna go. And like I said, um, more to come, the most I can do. So as always, man, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness that I hope you all are calling speed, money, and no breaks. Yeah. <laughs> I f that up all the time. You know I do. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Comment, subscribe, and I don't know. What is it again? Comment, subscribe, click the notification bell to witness the madness. I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm done. It'll be like 40 times because I can't remember it all the time. <laughs> because I suck! I'm Sam Weber and I approve this message.